Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Command Combat Battle Reports. Today we're in the Civil War, we're in Siberia with the American Civil War. Uh, and which is the perfect place, of course, that the uh, American Civil War be taking place. Why wouldn't it be in Siberia? Because it was the American Civil War of random world locations. Because we just went and hunted down each other. Yeah. With gusto. In Russia. They chased them all the way down. You got I, I chase your butt down to Russia. Well, that's that's because you love me. With gusto. This is exactly. This is Lee versus Grant. You got Lee on one side and Grant on the other. Grant is over here. And it's snowing, so it's kind of Christmassy. It's let it snow, let it snow, let it snow. This is our Christmas episode. Uh, people... Yeah, yeah. Yeah, let's see. Where is Grant? He'll, we'll find him here in a minute. So, okay, let's look this at our... This is going to be really confusing if I see American flag versus the American flag. I Wait know. A second. Uh, there's a mix-up here. Robert E. Lee with the American flag. There's a big problem here. Somehow the uh, this this program got a little bit confused. We might have Robert E. Lee as the Union commander. Oh my goodness! Did the, they switch the flags? Yeah, the program screwed up, and this is you. This is Ulysses Grant with the uh, with the Confederate flag, and over there is uh, Robert E. Lee with the American flag. Well, that and people wonder why our children are so stupid. Yeah, exactly. Okay, so do not use this as the example, folks, for the flags. But anyways, all right. So we got. Use it as an example of what happens when you don't pay attention while programming. And more importantly, if you send a job programming very specific things like this to places, I won't say countries, but places that aren't familiar with um, the importance of the different flags. That's true. Well, although in the game it actually ma it, it makes, it, it has the proper flags, it's just for whatever reason in this playback, it has screwed them up. Oh, just the playback Yeah, the playback. In the game so itself, when you played it, it, was... it was all correct. It's the playback that's screwing it up. Well, anyway, all right, so here's Grant. Let's look at what he's got here. He's got a 12-pounder Napoleon, uh, Buford's Cavalry, cavalry. 3-inch Ordnance Rifle, Union Regular Infantry, Union Sharpshooters, 54th Massachusetts, uh, Pennsylvania Bucktails, Iron Brigade, Iron Brigade, Irish Brigade. That's different somehow. Oh, Irish and Iron? Oh, yeah, very different. Ir yeah, Irish is. The like Irish versus, I don't know, the Scottish Brigade versus the German Brigade. Well, yeah, they think you got to, these guys were Irish and therefore are very tough. I, I was a pirate for some reason. Anyway, we got engineers, we got regular infantry. Ooh, engineers are being shot at. Uh, regular infantry, regular. I infantry. always shot the engineers in college. <laughs> That's true. But I also knew they could take it and fix it. 10 pounder pirate, parrot rifle, not pirate rifle, but parrot rifle. Union Cavalry with the Confederate flag for some reason. And we got Buford's Cavalry, which apparently came in and attacked Confederate Regular Infantry. Stonewall Brigade. Stonewall Brigade. Confederate Cavalry. Uh, Light Horse Artillery. Light Horse Artillery. Uh, Whitworth. Artillery of its Texans. Louisiana Tigers. Robert E. Lee with the American flag. Confederate Hampton's Legion. Uh, Vedette Cavalry, What's, what else is over here? I want to get back over to this, this cavalry attack that's going on in a second. Woods Texans, Sharpshooters, and Louisiana Zoops. So, okay, let's go back over right, here. So we're all marching everywhere, we're making fun letters. If you look up from over the sky, it says, I owe you, you yeah, know? Exactly, there it is. Oh, it looks like love, there's a V. Uh, oh, anyway, all right, so. Leave it to Jeff, everyone. <laughs> Buford's cavalry has come in here. It's really confusing knowing the Civil War and going, that's not Buford, it's Confederate. Oh, yeah. It looks like they actually wiped out that infantry. Ooh, wow, Wow, a lot of dead. You know, this is bizarre because... Now, is this the part where the zombies come back? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Now, typically cavalry didn't do as well against uh, infantry in during the American Civil War, but they looked like they kind of hit them from the flank. And what they look to be doing on a larger scale is kind of hitting them to try to slow down the whole line so that the rest of the um, in, in the rest of their line can get up a little bit further, which is sort of a tactic. Sometimes you sacrifice one to you know, take on the other. It's a chess move. You sacrifice a pawn or one piece to get the rest of the pieces into place. It looks like they're really trying to distract everybody here. But not really worth doing that. Yeah. Some generals did. That was dumb. Alright, so this is the uh, American or Confederate flag Americans. Ooh, we're freezing up here. Right, charging up here as well. Buford's Cavalry. Oh, so it seems they're using Buford's Cavalry to just sort of get into their faces so the 
rest of the infantry can move out. Now, what is the logistics behind? How did, how did infantry and cavalry and vice versa? Well, like, what, like infantry is, is guys on foot and cavalry are guys on horses? On horses, yes, exactly. So, so what, I think the guys on horses would have an advantage. You, it would be, but it, up to this point, it would have had an advantage. But then, once the Civil War came along, the, uh, the rifles were so accurate and had so much more range, that they were able to shoot down a lot more of the um, the cavalry before the cavalry even got to them. So at, up till this period, throughout all of human history, the cavalry had been superior to the infantry. But this was the first war where, because the guns became so superior, the cavalry was no longer useful because they were such a large target. You could hit, you know, and, and you had accurate guns, so you could actually hit your targets. So the cavalry made hunting a lot less of a sport and a lot more of a pastime. Exactly. Well, it, it made it much easier to shoot down the guys on the horses before they got to. So that was basically it. Hey, by the way, uh, today we are drinking moonshine, or as we like to call it, corn whiskey. For yeah. those of us who actually make moonshine. Which is what my girlfriend does, though, and I have the greatest girlfriend ever. She actually makes uh, alcohol. I, I don't make corn whiskey, but but it would be an alcoholic beverage. So anyway, uh, come on by and visit some time. Uh, we really trust for more <laughs> Don't do that. Don't do that. Don't do that. Please. We, we will go in on you. Oh, wow. Okay, so we got the, the cavalry is coming up behind the Stonewall Brigade. This is so bizarre for, you know, seeing the Stonewall Brigade with an American flag. I, I, I'm like... Can tell a Stonewall Brigade just by looking at it. Oh, it says uh, right here. Stonewall. Well, I know, Actually, but if you did, that's it. Give me that mouse. You know longer. <laughs> I never longer get the get the mouse. Oh wow! And of all the people involved in that melee, the Stonewall Brigade is the one that's getting that looks like it might be one way. They were by the Stonewall Brigade was one of the like, the toughest, baddest, you know, uh, uh, units of all. So that's why. It's, so that's what Stonewall Jackson did. Exactly, it's all more facts and people. See, and they, I pay attention when you talk. <laughs> you do pay attention a lot. To you, a lot about things you don't want to hear about. Here's another stuff. All the time. <laughs> Against Union regular infantry. Yes, I go on a bit about the Civil War. He knows a little bit about it and likes to share, especially if you find ironic. Which is not a lot, but there's a lot of ironic moments. You know, the Civil War actually began, and there was one guy who started in his front lawn and ended in front parlor. Even though he moved far away. Just look it up, people. It's really amazing. Okay, so we got uh, some... So what about the Siberian part of the American Civil War? <laughs> you know, I guess that's probably why the flags all went, uh, went uh, askew. Is because we're in Siberia. And, you know, when in Siberia, you're su it's a rule. You're supposed to switch flags if you're in it. Is that like capture the flag, but with some extra BS rules? Yes. I love BS rules. Oh, here we got the this uh, this sharpshooter unit, the Union sharpshooters. That's the very first use of, of um, camouflage in the American Army, and actually one of the first usages of camouflage. So they probably got their heads out of their butts, and so like you know, it's harder to find us if we aren't totally visible. Exactly. We aren't wearing neon That's pretty much right. They would, that's actually be hidden. And usually they wouldn't be in there. They just kind of like, you know, Oh, did you see that guy just like I reach over his head and stab oh, like, the guy? And you go reach for the wall, <laughs> stab the guy, bring it back, <gasps> breathe it, find your center, and right off. <laughs> <laughs> right off in the sunset. That's how it works, people. <laughs> Practice your yoga and you know stabbing. That's how I stab him all the time. That is. Reach over and stab. And reach over and stab. No, I might use reach. verbal stab, but that's okay. But you have the best ones, baby. Alright, so we got good Texans over here shooting at someone. Oh, I guess it's these guys. Oh, the Iron Brigade. That's a shooting shoot at the house. They're shooting at the house. Screw you. Screw you. Oh, wait, what is that? Why is there a cat behind me? Hi, kitty. Sorry, our cat has decided that my chair is his chair, and he's now trying to push me out of it. It's... Kind of cute and annoying at the same time. Oh, and here comes Grant up to try to help out with this fight. Let's go get him. Oh no, screw that. Let's I get out of here. I brought you a fifty-dollar bill. <laughs> now, what you know? We're drinking your your uh, homemade hooch, but uh, what is Grant drinking tonight? Uh, rubbing alcohol. There we go. <laughs> but everything that's in the house. 
actually, it's somewhat more of a, a myth that he was that much of an alcoholic. He, he was at a weakness for the drink, but he wasn't as much an alcoholic as people like him. Now, if I was listening to you correctly before, it was, he literally, he had a weakness. He couldn't hold his liquor. Yeah, that's really what it was. Is, I mean, he'd be in a room, and other people would drink a lot more than him. But, he was just the kind of person who, uh, one or two drinks was a lot more effective on him, so he would start acting crazy after just a couple of drinks. So that's he must have had the original style of person. Yeah. That's Are you taking St. John's Wort? <laughs> that's why he had the uh, uh, reputation of being an alcoholic, though, was because he'd have a few drinks and start acting like completely nuts, and then people, oh, he's an alcoholic, he's nuts, he can't hold his liquor, and you know, blah, blah, It's blah. tough to be us. Yeah. It's tough to be a lightweight. As or someone like me is a lightweight. Well, it looks like the American Confederates are doing pretty well, even though they got uh, held back. Grant managed to stop them, stop them in the tracks and keep them back and you know, hit them on his terms. Uh, still, maybe because they didn't have to go as far, the Confederate Americans, uh, the ones on the right side, the ones with the American flag currently, uh, you know, managed to, uh, maybe because they didn't have to go as far and they aren't as exhausted, they managed to actually hold them. Wait, wouldn't the better talk to go further because of Siberia? I guess that's true. Yeah, well, they, they got here. They, they, they dealt on the plane. Uh, uh, balloon. There we go. This is the first class balloon. With the horses. Good job! <laughs> yeah, well, they were just floating. <laughs> those horses didn't kick you out the bucket or nothing! <laughs> Dude, those horses would have jumped, and y'all know it. Yeah, that's true. Well, that's why they didn't put them in the bucket. They just, uh, you know, tied them through. Oh, oh, you're a bad man, Jeff MacArthur. You're a very bad man. I am a horrible, horrible man. Yeah, yeah. Stare this beautiful kitty in his eyes and tell him how he should be strung up to the bottom of a hot air balloon. I, and then sent off into space. By the way, no one can see, but I actually held the camera, so our traumatized. Yeah, well, he's always traumatized. Oh, oh that's right. He that's right. Okay, can you go away? So it looks like Hampton's Legion is coming to uh, hit these. I mean, it's, I'm, I'm sort of focused on this side of the battlefield because it seems like the other one is pretty well finished off. Uh, looked like it basically Grant has sent his forces running up there. And, um, Macarena, and they all ran for cover. Yeah, they probably were exhausted by the time they got to them. You know, got wiped out. What are you guys doing this dance? We're all dancing to Rihanna. Ooh, there's that one guy here, the yoga guy, right in the middle, and he's fighting a bunch of guys at once. See, there you go. You guys shouldn't know electronic music. We're getting pumped for a battle. Go yoga man! Go yoga man! Oh, oh, oh. oh yoga man! Oh, yoga man went down with his horse. Oh, well, screw that, man. Yeah. I'm getting me some tai chi. Yeah. Hi Chi. Yeah, that's oh. Well, let's see. Oh man, we got the the artillery is actually being brought up now. Yeah, way up at the top there. They seem like they've pretty much finished. They're all just sitting there going, "Hey, see that party last night?" Yeah. Hey, so I'm sorry about the dude over there. Ah, uh, sorry. Oh, wait, see, no, they're not. Oh yeah, it's, okay. Well, they have a little bit more on the this. This is the Irish Brigade. Hey, your Irish Brigade. You want to see it. Up against I, the Confederate Louisiana Zouaves. This would actually be the Louisiana Tigers, and there were so many criminals. And these, these are the guys who would loot bodies. And in fact, in my own Command Combat and Civil War game, there's a special rule where if they, land, if they march on the bodies, they have to stop and loot the bodies. I mean, you get three points for it. But, you know, it's like you're trying to get them to the march and they're like, hey, there's some Chinese. And they're just kind of ignoring them. They're like, screw you guys, we're running home. Let's go back here. Okay, we won't even find us. <laughs> There's nobody. Like, oh, oh, wait, how'd you get back there? Hey, let's get out of here. I guess they figured they already had to take care of what they needed out of here, but I think they caused them to run away. I was about to say that the guys were slaughtered though. <laughs> yeah. No, I think these guys are. Oh, wait a minute, no, but that's. Uh, that's the artillery which is now set up. So somebody boom something on here. Yeah. So this is the guys. I'm still confused by these flags. Also what's interesting is they didn't use the Confederate battle flag. Those
with the flag they have, that was the government. They actually had a different flag for the government, or the Confederacy had a different flag for the government and for the, for the battle. What most people think of as the Confederate flag was the cross. Yeah, the, that was just the battle flag, not the Confederate flag. Rebel flag. Rebel. Yeah, that, yeah, exactly. They were both rebels. The other one was actually, it wasn't even the battle flag. It was, it was kind of interesting, ironic. People were sort of the being racist. Actually, this flag was racist because this is the flag, because the government flag is the government that allowed race or allowed slavery to exist. The battle flag was simply the soldiers who were on the field. Uh, and they were just sort of you know, doing by whatever, you know, no matter how they felt about slavery, they were mostly just doing it out of a sense of duty. Some of them were absolutely against slavery, like Longstreet and Lee were really more or less opposed to slavery, but they fought under that flag because it was just like they felt it was their duty and stuff. Not that as an excuse or anything, but it's just interesting that that's the, that's the flag that got the reputation of being, you know, for slavery and stuff, when this is the flag that it really was. Yeah, you know, they just fought under it because at least it was, was not Lincoln. Yeah, exactly. You know? Yeah, sure, they have terrible ideas, but this other guy, I just don't like him as a person. That's it. Well, it looks like that's about it for the battle. Thanks for watching. Be sure to subscribe and uh, uh, watch us at commandcombatreports.com. Happy gaming, everyone!